Hi guys, today my Amazon package arrived. Last week I ordered an Asus VBook Book Flip 14. It's a 2-in-1 laptop as you can see on the screen. So it's a very thin laptop and the package was quite uh, too big. So today I will unbox this and see what's inside. Let's open it. So even though the box is quite big, what's inside is also another box carrying the actual laptop. So it's a small box within a very big box. I have chosen this laptop for some reasons because I wanted a laptop that is two in one which can be converted into a tablet. That means you can flip the LCD and you can able to use your finger to navigate so it must be a touch screen display and also the weight must be lighten up around 1.5 to 1 kg and also i wanted a quite pass uh, cpu so this laptop is loaded with a pentium 2.7 gigahertz with four processor and a four gigabit 4 gigabyte ram size ddr3 sd ram and of course the hard disk which is a flash memory solid state 128 gb so i bought this for around 535 sgd which is equivalent to around 400 usd so it's quite a good spec good price laptop and uh, in the amazon it is the number one best-selling laptop so uh, after reviewing all of the laptop in its category I have chosen this one now let's open the box so this is my first time to open the box so basically I need a pair of scissors to open the plastic tape so let's begin I like the way they put it in the box as you can see so when I open it I open it like this so the box doesn't open all the way <clears throat> this cardboard here is supporting this box cover such that it stands like this and it says in search of incredible so that means I think yeah it's a plus point it's a nice box so inside there's a bit of a piece of cloth that is covering the actual laptop so let's lip it let lip it up wow so it's inside the cloth basically so this is the laptop wow it's a very thin laptop so let's open it carefully the the weight and the feel is quite a bit of luxurious feel so it's not a metal but I can say it feels very good so at the side there is a audio jack a USB type C and a mini HDMI and the power supply and the speaker at the bottom you can see it's quite clean just like the MacBook Pro at the back there's a inch and on the other side as you can see there's another USB a micro SD an indicator for the battery and for the power supply and the volume control and also the power the power button and another speaker so um, it feels nice and yeah uh, outside i like it so to give you i feel how thick it is so this is a regular pencil 
as you can see so around one and a half one and a half pencil thick at the side the same thing so yep so outside look it looks great and uh, it feels quite good and it's a bit heavy but I think this is around 1.2 kilogram so yeah this is the outside now let's open the laptop and see what's inside and we'll try to power it on as you can see there's another piece of cloth and here's the keyboard it looks like the same as the macbook pro but of course the macbook pro is an aluminum this one is not and as advertised this is a two-in-one laptop so we can basically flip it up flip, flip like this 360 degree as you can see it can be flipped all the way let's try to flip all the way yes it can be flipped all the way so it looks like this when you flip it all the way and yes it feels like a tablet and the uh, LCD is 14 inch diagonally so you can use it to draw and yeah browse like a tablet so now let's power it on so this is my first time to turn it on since it's my first time to unbox it so let's turn it on this is the power button here at the side hopefully this the battery of this got some charge in it so we can try it so I, I'll press it now mm -hmm. unfortunately seems like there is no charge in it okay never mind so I'll post this video and charge charge it for a while then let's review continue reviewing so there's no charge in it so i need to get the power supply so these are the remaining content of the box so if you flip it this is the tray that's holding the laptop there are some uh, booklets here i think this is the user guide okay then there's another booklet which is the warranty warranty card and yes so this is another cardboard holding the tray and also the booklets i think the power supply is in the side so on the side yeah there's a small compartment and inside is the power supply so the power supply is quite small and i think this is good because you can just put it on your pocket or on your laptop sleeve and it's very very light so for traveling this is quite nice so I'll charge it now with this okay so now I plug the power supply in the socket and I put the supply here so you put it this way so it must be pointing backwards so it will be this way when you use it and you will see two lights led lights here first is the battery now it's color red or amber i think so i think this one will be color green once the battery is full and then there's a light bulb maybe this is the power supply so currently we are connected on the power supply that's why this one is uh, lit lit up so let's try to open it and turn it on Oh, it's already turned on since because the power supply the power button in the side is lit up so it's on so I will be setting it up this is the first time so I will choose so I, I will be using the the pad track here uh, I'll test for the first time the touch screen oh okay the mouse is 
the mouse pointer is gone away but yes i can click okay it was clicked so just choose the language like that so i will choose english of course and click yes okay so i'll go back to the mouse Oh, a little sign in here. That's good. Set your Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. So that means it's like the Siri. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Yes. Uh, no, set it to Singapore. Singapore, please. Voice mode on. Singapore. So, I don't know how to use the voice command. Maybe I'll try to explore on that one later. Now, let's just select it manually. Click yes. Keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yeah. Yes. Yes, please. Okay, still not recognizing me. So let's proceed with the manual mode. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Yeah. Let's skip this. Now let's get you connected to a network. Okay, that so. Way you can get updates, apps, and now type your credentials. I'll connect to our Wi-Fi. Now type your credentials. Mission accomplished. You're all linked up. Now we have some important setup to do. So this one will take quite some time. Okay, maybe I'll post this video and continue once the desktop is shown already. Okay, now the setup is finished and this is the desktop. Let's try to open Microsoft Edge and see how fast it is to connect to the internet. So this is my first time to open the web browser. Maybe let's go to yahoo okay it's loading quite fast and yeah as you can see i can use my finger to browse and click it's loading quite fast and let's see the flip mode yes okay now it's on the tablet mode so it's quite nice and yes i need to get used to it holding and also clicking as i notice i'm always clicking at the back when i'm when it is in the tablet mode and as you can see the content is also rotating automatically So this is quite nice. I like it. And you can see. Let's try maybe how to type. So this is my first time to do this one. So I think this is the. Ah, yeah. So this is the keyboard. So I'll try MS Paint. Okay. So I'll remove the keyboard. yeah quite nice good so i'm satisfied on the first usage of it I, I will probably get used on how to use it get used on how to properly navigate and properly handle this one in tablet mode 
because this is my first time to have this kind of laptop as you might uh, observe I'm a MacBook guy yep so thanks for watching and click subscribe for my other upcoming reviews thank you bye bye